In the basement of this church, nestled in rolling green hills, 13-year-old Taylor Hale and her grandmother Nancy help important guests prepare for church. Ooh, this looks like a polar bear. He is a teddy bear, and yes, he's going to church, along with his fluffy stuffed brethren. Each one bears a special message of support. It's combining the love of the people that gave it to you and people that are praying for you. That message made all the difference for Wayne Johnson, who received a bear from Taylor after news that he might not live to see another spring here in Elk Creek, Virginia. You brought your bear. Yeah, sure did. Johnson beat a rare kidney cancer. He came to Mount Zion United Methodist Church to thank folks for their prayers and the huggable reminder that he was never alone in his illness. And I knew I was literally sitting there dying. I had a company of coal mines that I couldn't even go run. And here come Taylor. She was so thrilled that she had got me this bear. The bear arrived with a message. It says it has heard the word, read and taught prayers, prayed, and songs praise son. It now comes to you with prayers for your comfort, strength, and healing. Good morning. Sitting beside 94-year-old Miss Esther, clutched in the arms of a 9-year-old or perched in pews, these bears will leave this service to begin service. If theirs does, like I said, one-tenth or one-hundredth of what mine has for me, there'll be people going through life with a different outlook. I believe that you have someone in mind pick up one of these little bears. They're going to depend upon you to put them into ministry. Everybody needs hope. This bear is a lot of hope. It gave me a lot of hope.